Alright, uh, this is another update for our journeys, game development. Alright, so what we have here is uh, updated UI and uh, a few other things. Updated landscape a little bit. Got a uh, death sequence and damage in. Now pick up all these items and equip them. Uh, they will be interchangeable. And uh, later on, I am going to do shape keys so the clothes don't uh, clip through the character, like so. Uh, what that basically does is take away uh, all the parts that are not showing and uh, makes it invisible. So when you're walking, there's nothing clipping through. All right, let's see here. There's some more of the armor. There's a soldier. Go ahead and put on the warrior. I'll show you the mage. Oh. Misclick there. Take that off. Alright, another thing I want to show you is the uh, menu. So I've updated a few things here to where uh, basically when I uh, finish the project, uh, build and run it, then first thing you'll see will be the menu. Uh, let's see here. Alright, main menu. Let's go ahead and play it. So you got load game, system, info, and quick game. Info, let's bring up all the links. You'll be able to click on them, go to the website. System, you can change quality, resolution, brightness. Load game is uh, where your save data bank will be. You have your picture of the character, current, uh, clothes, or an avatar. Your name, class, level, play time, and location. Let's go back to stage. I'll show you the death animation and then uh, some more stuff with the menu. So your character will start out with uh, the basic set clothes it has. This one uh, will be the servant and it will start out with just that. Uh, already equipped um, and not de-equipable so if you put pants over it it essentially won't take that off but it will make it visible uh, while you have pants on let me show you the damage system uh, the attacks will be replaced uh, later on or more uh, suitable to the character so shape keys on areas let's go with the knight
Alright, we're gonna attack this AI over here, the dummy AI. Uh, I will fix the stamina, so when you run out, you will not be able to uh, continue running. Even though you will have a lot of stamina. And the attacks, like that, uh, will take stamina later on. So let me, head, uh, let me go ahead and show you the death animation. <clears throat> now keep in mind, uh, Ragdoll will be implemented later on. And I do need to do a lot of coding for these. Uh, sidebars and everything like this will be a map change the picture this will be the direction you're going question marks if you have any questions uh, this will be the store the, the uh, guild and everything pictures of your level more stuff may be added so let's go ahead and uh, die to this AI here. Again, this is this dummy one. Just test out a few things, like attacks and deaths. I probably will not use this model. We'll see. And then uh, there will be ragdoll death, and then it will fade out, and you'll reappear to the last campfire you were at. The campfire will uh, operate basically like not only a save uh, spot, but uh, sort of a community where you can sit down, repair your armor, go to the shop, uh, sell stuff online. Uh, you'll have uh, options to upgrade the camp, like better beds, better tents. You have quests from this guy. And uh, the more you progress through the game and storyline, the more things you unlock, the more people you talk to, you'll be able to guide them or essentially uh, add them to your campfire. And there'll be campfires across the uh, whole game here. So certain uh, spots you can sit down, repair your armor, level up. Now there will be auto save implemented uh, similar to Dark Souls, where it doesn't matter what you do, where you go. Reselect that and accidentally re. Uh, Reorganize those. Okay, so add a little bit on to the landscape and uh, mainly focused on spacing the areas out. We just saw will be the main gate where you come through at the beginning here. And then you'll go through it, gate will close, and then the troll will attack you. So the cutscene will be starting your character here, walking through, and doing that. Unless you want to explore here, in which case you can skip the cutscene and keep the door open. A little uh, secret. You go this way. Be a campfire here in various spots. Uh, most of these buildings are placeholders at the moment uh, for more intricate design buildings with uh, different passages and uh, probably a different style. And I like things in this castle, these are placeholders. And these, uh, gray, uh, tannish, rather, 
spots around the map are mapped out to be uh, where water will be, so little lakes, the puddles, and something over here that's pretty cool. There will be a gate off here where you can only go this way, and it will lead you into the crystal area. But the only way to get here is through this, which will be a lake. And you have to travel through going from this side underwater. Here will be a uh, dungeon entrance. And uh, it will expand, expand this way for DLC later on. Let's go ahead and hide that. So like the last update video, I'll just quickly go through uh, the directions you can go. So this being a little mini boss for the first encounter, if you choose to go this way. You'll get a, a secret item to help you out later. But first, if you do choose to go through the gate, will close behind you, triggering the troll, and then you have to fight it. You come to a campfire, then you sit down, you figure out more controls, etc. Uh, like th the stuff I had previously stated. Basically, the store will come later, because most of the tents won't be there, since it won't be upgraded. And after you choose to journey off and possibly step into this cave, you have three ways to go. Uh, this way to the castle to where you'll first uh, make your encounter with NPCs you can bring back. Uh, through here will be a tree boss, uh, triggering that is to get close enough, build mobs are uh, spanned out throughout the area. If you choose the, this way, you will have another option to go this way or this way. Uh, freely, of course. And once you go this way, if you pass this, not knowing you can go underwater, hopefully, uh, you'll come to this direction where there's two uh, seemingly opposite directions. But they're not because they wrap around and you can go up here if you fall you will die uh, you continue this way you chose this way you go to the graveyard wrap around or possibly go through this cavern more like an alley because it's between two mountains rather and a cavern usually is underground. So you go around here, you can go this way, which will bring you back. Uh, going rather the back way. Going backwards towards the DLC and through up the dungeon. If you come here, we unlock more NPCs. And of course, there'll be a story along the way and enemies about. In the woods and along the paths. Are you a filmmaker or a content creator and looking for high quality music and sound effects for no ex All right, now let's show you the menu. So I'm going to enable a uh, new game. First we have to hmm. 
enable this. So new game you will be able to do right off the bat, obviously. Load game you won't be able to do until you save the game or uh, basically play it because it will be auto save. You have different characters throughout. Uh, the name will change, so the first one is Servant, this is Wanderer, Sorcerer, Mage, Warrior, Soldier, Knight. Uh, some special things here. You have your gender, skin tone, uh, there will be hairstyles, and your gift is basically a special item you get. Uh, this, these are stats of the servant. You can enter your name in, and uh, start the game. Go along. Now, currently, this is broken, so I have to code more and fix that stuff up. I uh, do need a coder, pretty bad, but that is for the future. As you can see, you see the character ready. Start and go, but you're operating this one because I have to recode it to where it deletes the basic character. So when you start the game, a new game or load, you'll start in either your character or will be this uh, already placed character. Uh, with your set armor on. <clears throat> Alright. Now this will be after I uh, built and ran the project. This is the window uh, it currently is. Um, I do not have window scaling it on at the moment, so I might add that later on and a full screen feature. So we go into here. Take a little bit to load. All right, like before, uh, these items on the ground uh, will be changed later to where you can pick them up by selecting or pressing a key to pick up uh, rather than just walking over them. <clears throat> Let me get some uh, weapons here. Let's do another kill test. This time I will be having a bunch of different armor on. Uh, hmm, let's see. Maybe no helmet this time. Uh, you will be able to equip the weapons uh, in both hand slots, right and left, but two-handed will only be in the right hand slot. As you've seen before, I do have the idle, the walk, and the run animated. Uh, all animated in Blender. Uh, 
that's about it. Uh, everything will be updated hopefully this year and put out another uh, Journeys game development update video next year. Uh, yeah, one other thing uh, before I end the video, I do need a coder, so if you're out there, hit me up. Twitter, Facebook, whatever link or contact info you have. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.